Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD and welcome back to another exciting Tech Tip Tuesday. And today is all about setting your desktop power options. So let's get into it. All right, so today is all about your desktop power options. And on the desktop, I'm going to right click on my start menu, go to run. And from here, I'm going to type in WinVER, hit OK. And I'm running everything within a Windows version 1909, Windows 10, right? Now on the desktop, we are going to click on start within start. We are going to locate that gear, that sprocket and that sprocket and that gear is our settings. So we are going to click on settings from here. We are going to go to system and within systems, we are going to click on power and sleep. These are the two options that you will receive on your desktop for power and sleep screen and sleep. Uh, when plugged in, turn after whatever amount. And then when plugged in PC, it goes to sleep after whatever amount. Now I like to set myself to never. I think the default setting for Windows 10 is either 15 minutes or an hour. You are able to change the time for screen. So if you click on the drop down, you can change the time and you can do the same thing for sleep as well. Now on this page on your right hand side, you have additional power settings. If you click on that, it takes you here. Typically a desktop normally has a power plan. For this particular machine, I have the Razer Cortex power plan as my default but I'm able to click on change plan settings and it takes me here. You only have two options. You are able to configure it the way that you want it. And you also able to click on change advanced power settings. And this right here gives you more in-depth settings to change within your environment. Now back to this page right here, you are able to choose what the power buttons do. And pretty basic. If you press the power button for my settings, it's going to go to sleep but you are able to click on the drop down menu and then pick what you want. Now back to this menu right here. If you do not like the power plans that the machine gives you, you are able to create your own power plan by clicking on the link that says create a power plan. And it takes you here. You're able to give your power plan a name, then pick a template from the three and then configure it. And that's it guys. Those are some desktop power options that you are able to configure within your environment. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Do not forget about punching elbow and smashing that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.